When I think of Harold, I think of a fire starter. Harold has a sense of urgency. He's all about teamwork, continuous change. Um, he's an initiator, he motivates. Um, he has a passion like no other. He's compassionate, he's empathetic, and these are characteristics that you have to have when you're dealing with critically ill patients. You also have to have those characteristics when you're dealing with members of the healthcare team. Harold is not only a wonderful person in the hospital as a friend, a co-worker, a patient care provider. Harold also works in the community doing things with different associations. The one that comes to my mind immediately is the 100 Black Men of Savannah. He has done so many good things through that. He's worked with charities, he's worked with youth. He's had a group of young people come through our department and we were able to talk to them and tell them things that we did and hopefully that'll make a little impact in their lives. I think he's been a role model for a lot of people. The 100 chapter of, of Savannah has a health and wellness component. Our goal is to improve the quality of life uh, as it relates to uh, debilitating diseases that affect primarily African American families. Harold has been just tremendous in leading that effort. He has taken the charge. Uh, he's been involved in, in several programs in getting uh, our message out uh, to our youth as well as to families. If you know Harold, and then you know he, he is a people's person, has tremendous people skills. And that's what children, children want and they need. They need role models, they need people who care, people who know how to help them get to where they need to be. I think one of his most endearing qualities is his ability to connect to people and connect to children. As a person, uh, I would say two words, uh, dependable, the ultimate of dependability. Uh, if Harold says it's going to be done, you can count on it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to be executed in a first class manner because it will be. That's his style. And the other word is committed. He also goes on medical missions uh, with a group here called Faith and Practice. And I've been on a mission to Antigua, Guatemala uh, with him and I've seen him in action in uh, the most impoverished situations one could ever imagine. So he finds time uh, to do that. And again, he's an example of putting his faith in practice. Harold has taken several mission trips to Guatemala and it's all about giving back. It's all about teamwork. It's all about doing for others. That is so much him because uh, he just, 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 always looks for opportunities to provide for his staff, provide for his patients, prioritize patients as number one. And as a magnet hospital, it, it's about excellence in nursing care. But Harold is our partner. He's our complement to the best care that our patients receive. I'd like to thank my co-workers here at St. Joseph County Health System for giving me the opportunity to work with a wonderful group of people that makes it easy for me to receive this award. Being a faith-based health system allows us to do a, a number of things that are very productive in our community. St. Joseph Candler Health System has aided us in providing support for community activities that we do with the 100 Black Men of Savannah, also with the Youth Futures Authority here in Savannah, and several of the other organizations that we work for. So on behalf of my wife, my family, my co-workers, and the many people that work with me in the community, I would humbly accept this award and thank you for your time.